On behalf of FHI 360 and our co-sponsors of this meeting, uh, U.S. Embassy Thailand, USAID Regional Development Mission for Asia, and UNDP, I'd like to welcome you to this day of focus on gender inequality, gender-based violence, and rights in the Asia-Pacific region. We uh, are very happy to be able to partner with USAID and UNDP to be able to put together a regional conference whereby we can take the learnings and the recommendations forward and hopefully influence the next generation of gender-based violence programming. So we wanted to provide an opportunity today with this event to bring together all kinds of practitioners, activists, feminists, representatives of government, uh, of civil society, and of donors, and give them the opportunity to spend a day together talking to one another about their experiences and the kind of work that they do and the kind of violence that they address. Promoting and protecting the rights of individuals for a life free of violence is one of the priorities of the U.S. government. We now have comparable data from over 80 countries and that's how we're able to say with such certainty and with even regional precision um, the extent of, of violence against women and girls. Our first uh, activity is a panel discussion where we brought together representatives from organizations that address violence against children and women, violence against sexual and, and gender minorities, as well as violence ag against the broader population. Empowerment. What mean by that? Meaning that when we provide services for women, it doesn't mean that women have to be passive of recipient, but they are empowered. They have to make decisions by themselves. This summit is very uh, helpful to raise the LGBTI issues regarding the gender-based violence. Our second activity is a facilitated discussion which brings together some of the leading experts, uh, researchers, as well as implementers in the field of prevention of gender-based violence. I really hope that out of all these discussions comes an increased interest in investing in long-term sustainable social norm change work. I think one of the most important findings from all of our research and practice over the last years is that violence is preventable. We have to start integrating prevention programming into different sectors and outside the ones that we normally do, you know, we have to do health and, and um, HIV, etc. But microfinance, agriculture, urban planning, governance, water and sanitation, like there's it, all of these areas will will benefit from having a focus on violence prevention. I think events like this one are very important because they give us an opportunity to share experiences across regions and across sectors. So much of what we do is really siloed. We're either working on education or on finance or health. Our third activity was uh, what we call the Gender Lounge. So about 20 different tables which had different topics of violence. And it was again another opportunity to break down some of these barriers for people to come and share their own experiences in terms of what works and, and to look at, to, to map together what are the intersections between these different kinds of violence? Throughout the day, we have been asking our participants, uh, as well as our panelists and speakers, to make recommendations to donors. So if you could speak directly to donors, what would you tell them that, you, that is the most important thing to direct funding to, to direct the world's attention to? We need to be advocates back to our political leaders in our own countries. We could, um find a way to secure the funding or, or to have a commitment by the donors here um, for a civil society fund to end gender-based violence. That would be a significant commitment of bilateral and multilateral donors together with uh, the NGO sector, particularly investing in um, women's movements um, for, for change. So that combination of powerful funding and powerful advocacy, lifting up the voices and stories of women, is really what makes transformative change. This summit has been truly remarkable, bringing so many people together from so many different countries. We have been able to have nearly 200 individuals from across Asia, and across the world, really, who've been able to weigh in on uh, the challenges that we face as development practitioners and academics, 
on addressing prevention and services to victims of gender-based violence. Our hope that today moved us closer towards deepening our partnerships for refining and implementing the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, especially regarding gender justice, gender rights, and reduced gender-based violence. <laughs>